Place exactly. I think it's so we, we so and we met like around two thousand and like I think. Um, yeah, right. Cause yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I kind of, I kind of came back into the battle rap scene from the WRCs. Cause my good friend Mozzie, another, another uh, representative of the culture for many years, was hosting the WRCs. That was like 2007, I think. EO double alumni. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's crazy. Yeah, right. And I connected with y'all through that. Yeah. So I, yeah, I was one of the judges. For, uh, He's one of the judges. The, in, the infamous stolen tapes battles for the WRCs. <laughs> I witnessed the whole thing go down. And yeah, then I've been very lucky to try and, you know, support as best I can. That was, by the way, that was a huge controversy. Life. Those missing tapes Yo. was like a huge controversy in battle rap at the time. Yeah. Like, That's big because like King of the Dot comes directly out of that. Grind time comes out of that. Like, Everyone who started these other leagues was in that room and was so fucked up by how things went wrong. They were like, I'm going to start my own league. And that's like the ne the modern form of hip hop battle leagues. You can trace a lot of it directly from WRCs having such a big thing and then fucking it all up in that one day. Wait, what what yeah. happened? Because I don't know a damn thing about what you're talking about. <laughs> it's a, I shouldn't have brought it up because this is like we got to explain a whole season of a soap opera now. <laughs> but so this was, so the WRCs was this really dope tournament. It was like a two on two tournament um, where people from different parts of the world would all compete in these like two on two battles. And it was like right at the cusp of things moving from supposedly freestyle to written. So it was a mix of like some people were going all off the top. Some people were doing mostly writtens, but kind of fitting it in with some off the top. Um, so there was a whole, like, it was really amazing two on two freestyle rap competition that became like a, at least a big cult thing, a big underground thing online. And for their second season, like the second year of the W the world rap championships, it was, was it, was it 50,000? I feel like it was $50,000. Am I remembering that correctly? Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was like, a, it, was a, it was a massive a amount. At the time. Right. This is way before like Smack URL were working with the budgets they were working now or RBE or what have you. Um, so this was crazy amount of money. So, and it's all the best battlers. Like this is, you know, the two Titans were like uh, Thesaurus and Immaculate and uh, uh, Marv One and uh, yeah, what's his partner's name? That's for Cody. Quest McCody, thank you. Apologies, Quest. I'm just nah, I'm at that no age where I don't remember names. There's no disrespect to Quest. Um, yeah, so this is like, those are the two squads that you couldn't imagine ever any either of them ever losing. So having to be one of the judges for them battling each other was like the most stressful thing in the world. And what happened was the people who ran the league, it was, it was these British dudes. Um, it was Jump Off TV. It was like this British organization, this dude, Harry. They... This was all new. We didn't know how to. Do, so he had. He wanted to make sure it was done right, but he like overcompensated by making this scoring system that was mad complex. It was like filling out a whole Excel sheet. Like, so we were sitting there, fill, like, I couldn't tell who I had winning based on filling out this sheet. And the judges were a mix of like people like me who had been watching WRCs and people who are respected in hip hop, but weren't really watching the battle. So they don't understand all the inside jokes in the context. So like they would think one team was winning, but fans that have been watching everything were like, what? No, the other squad was, how could you vote for them? So that's, that's basically what happened is there was a decision that the owners of the league thought, well, when the, when the fans see that you voted this way, they're going to be pissed. So I'm going to step in. They tried to intervene and like, no, let's do it over again. But they didn't realize once you do that, everyone's trust in the whole enterprise is fucked up. <laughs> yeah. So it just, it became a situation where they stepped in and like overruled the judges and made it, I forget all the details, but then people were like, well, wait, so how do we trust the judging? If you're just going to step in for what you think was the real winner. And then after that, um, so that so the the event just like stopped for like an hour and everyone's like negotiating and cursing. Then we finally start up again and it gets to the finals, or maybe it's the semifinals. It's the two teams I talked about, Quest McCody and Marv One versus the Soros and Immaculate. And impossible to judge. Like this is why I don't judge battles anymore, because it's so subjective when both 
sides are amazing. I don't know. Everybody wins. How am I supposed to pick? <laughs> so, so it came out with uh, Thesaurus and Immaculate were voted the winners, and Quest and Marv, because nobody had trust in the judging anymore, they were like, well, fuck that. I went, show me all the scorecards. I don't agree. So then the, the whole event stopped again, and everyone's negotiating how we're even going to start up again because nobody trusts the process anymore. And while all this is going on, and we're like, they rented out a whole studio space. So we were away from the main performance room. At some point while all this negotiation is going on, somebody steals all the videotapes of the battles. <laughs> <laughs> so battle rap, yo. It's <laughs> Apologies so for such rap. a long story. But so then that no, stops you don't the You have to apologize for that. That's what we do here. That stops the event for like two more hours. And just people are, how do we find? So they're, okay, we're going to search everybody. Okay, no, we're not. <laughs> Nobody's going to. It just <laughs> finally, after like a couple of hours, they, they do the final finals, which I, I'm trying to. It was, it was the source and Ilmac against like maybe Frankie Waps and Jay's Juice was the finals, I think. But by then, like nobody's heart is in it because the whole day has just been completely fucked. And everyone, it went from like the most amazing day with like all the best battlers in the world in this one big room to like, oh my God, how did this completely turn to shit? So that basically killed the WRCs as a league. And like Organic, who runs King of the Dot League now, he was one of the competitors in the WRCs. Um, D Rect, who started Grind Time, was, he, right, so was one all of, the of these, all of these next generations of leagues came from the battlers themselves learning from what went wrong with the WRCs and like building their own shit. Yeah. That's Fact. huge though. Battle rap history. But it's even like more than that. It's just like, there's this weird idea out there that all press is good press. And I would argue that this is a great example of when yeah, one not, bad not press all. article destroys your entire enterprise. And I want to say, cause the, for the 10 people who care about this, like I think yeah, jump off yeah. and, and W d jump off and WRCs kind of get looked back on like some fuck ups. But having been there in the room, like, they fucked it up, but they had only good intent. Like, it didn't come from any corruption on their part. They weren't trying to jerk anybody. It was just a new thing that no, they yeah, had. But it's more like, I, I don't want to, like, play it like that, too, because it's like, yo, I've, you, you end up in situations when you have to make decisions, when you have to really consider things, and you overthink is often what happens. You overthink, and exactly then you can't what, go back. So it's exactly. not, to me, like negative it's like a learning lesson a big old knowledge nugget that we can all take from that like